Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube gaming channel. My name is Noxandus Ray. I won't be streaming for this next two weeks while the Abyss match is on because it's just too intense guys. So here I'm just going to show you guys some of the Abyss rank matches that we have gone through. Uh, this match, you can see we are in Average Sleeping Town, and I am with my partner, Yukichi! Because, you know, the others are already unicorns, so <laughs> we cannot play full team, so it's just us both griffins. And you can see the hunter is a Wu Chang, he threw the umbrella. Luckily, it didn't hit the cypher, so I still managed to run away. But I was already aware that he was going to teleport there, so I had a hit start running. And then I just had to make my way around here. Now, I didn't use my watch early game just so that I can buy as much time and I don't waste my resources. And when I know that I am in a very cornered situation instead of going down, then that's when I started to use my watch. And I just threw down pallets just to create that distance. And I will just have to run away. Now, at this point, we had a really bad internet connection. So what happened was, I got stuck. You can see, I was trying to run. I was like, screaming to Yuki. And, and I told her, like, look, uh, you know, I got stuck. But luckily, Hunter just moved on. Hunter didn't want to chase after me. So that was lucky because I was a one shot and he could have taken that shot. But he didn't. He just left me and now he's going to go after the cowboy. Now this is a very dangerous spot to kite because it was near the dungeon and if anything goes wrong, uh, if anything goes wrong, cowboy can go inside the basement. So yeah, as I was saying, the basement was around there. So uh, cowboy just moved himself away and now he's just going to try to go elsewhere, bring bring Hunter far away from that cypher and actually that's where the Merc was as well, that's where Yuki was. So Cowboy's like, okay I'm just gonna bring him to the graveyard. By the way, for me I just open a chest and I can just heal up so all's good on my end, I can just go back to my cypher and decode peacefully. So Hunter just keeps changing target, wants to go after the Cowboy, then wants to go after the Merc and then now Hunter wants to go back in the middle looking for the perfumer couldn't find and now he's trying to go back to my cypher and again because my heart was beating I managed to have a hit start again just running around he just wants to make sure where I'm at he wants to chase after me and I know the basement is at the restaurant so I shouldn't go there I saw a perfumer to go for a cowboy cypher and again for me I just have to bring him to a different place to hide so that in any case, if I got down or anything, people can still go to my cypher. And this is important because I see that a lot of people, when they have to start kiting hunters, they just kite near the cypher. And that's really bad. You're supposed to bring hunter away from the cypher so that, you know, when your teammates are done decoding their cyphers, they can go to yours and take over. And that way, you guys will be more efficient in cypher rushing. So here I just died at the at the second floor there. So see, uh, while I was away, Yuki and the perfumer can just decode. And as for the cowboy, he started a new cycle already because he knows a teammate would go to his old green cycle. So here, this is where Hunter teleported and goes after the cowboy. So he wants to try uh, to avoid getting soul siphons and he just pellet stunned the hunter. So of course that was a free rescue. Uh, by the mercenary because Hunter wasn't camping and the cowboy he's really good he's he's really observing uh, the hunter's next move he's really just watching over the hunter and predicting the next move so that he has a head start like again here he's just going around here he's not gonna transfer so much he's just gonna tight kite all the way and avoid whatever Wu Chang throws at him so he got a hit there, but he's still gonna play around this area because the cypher is still outside of graveyard. So in a way it's fine. For me, I'm just gonna make my way to the front gate because I know that last cypher is almost fine. It's just a matter of when someone's gonna pop it. So mercenary is just on standby there, just trying to decode just to make it extra prime. And cowboy is still distracting the hunter and pellet stunning the hunter all the time. 
So yeah, how is this gonna play out? I forgot. But luckily Hunter did not get hit by that train. <laughs> that was lucky, that was lucky. So many times I would see Hunter just get hit by the tram. And uh, yeah, Cowboy just uh, popped that cypher, goes back into graveyard to kite, and Mercenary making his way to, I think, the back gate because Hunter is going to teleport. Yep, Hunter teleports to the front, that's where I'm at. And instead of running to the back gate, I rather just kite here because, you know, I would rather just have a win. So I just try to distract the Hunter so that all the other three of my teammates can escape. It doesn't matter if I can't escape, but here we're just aiming for a win. And uh, yeah, so I just try to waste as much time as I can. And at this rate, this is when everyone managed to escape. And I shall be the sacrificial goat. So this is where Hunter is going to carry me to the chair. And yes, that's a tree survivor escape. Now, you know, we can aim for a four survivor escape. Um, but at this stage, we're just taking it easy because it's just the two of us. And it's going to be risky if everyone else is involved to try to have a four survivor escape. So we just go with what we can. And we're pretty happy with that. Okay, moving on. So this is the second match and we have a Joseph in Arms Factory. So we have two decoders and two rescuers for this match. And this is interesting because this is a very small map. So I guess this is why Hunter chose Joseph just to stop us from cypher rushing. Because if you think about it, we have an explorer and we have a mechanic. So here Yuki went inside the photo wall just to see where the hunter is but she could not see the hunter. And then after that I saw hunter is there so I started to run away, I took a hit and hunter just went back to see if my photo image was there but it wasn't because I hit uh, at the right place at the right time. So now he saw that I was going to go near the factory and for me I just had to be sure where he's going. I saw he was near the factory. I told Yuki, get out. Hunter's there. So Yuki told the mechanic as well to get out because Hunter was there. Luckily, her robot was there hiding as well. So Hunter went inside factory just to check if there's anybody. And then now he didn't see anybody and he just wants to look for another survivor. So he's just looking around, look at the, looking at the ciphers, and you can see that Mercenary was at Sandbags. Uh, mechanic put out her robot back there again to decode because Hunter has changed target. So Hunter found Mercenary Yuki, and this is where Yuki has to cut for a while. That was a very risky ball move by Yuki, just just going out to show Hunter like, hey, I'm here, like. But she just dashes away in the nick of time. This is where Hunter got the upper hand. That was a blink just when she bolted that pallet. So that's why she could take the hit. And actually now both uh, both rescuers are injured. So that's going to be risky for us to make any rescuing. So of course, Joseph triggers the photo world again. And now he can look for the mercenary and you know, hit mercenary again. So for Yuki, she just has to try to look for me and we both have to try to heal up. We were hoping that Joseph would share her photo image, but I guess Joseph also has a few tricks up his sleeve. We can see that Mechanic already finished that cipher in the factory. So she's just moving the robot uh, in sandbags, if I'm not mistaken, where Yuki's previous cipher was. For me and Yuki, because it's just both of us communicating, we're like, okay, okay, let's go heal up, let's go heal up at the corner. So Chiaki, the mechanic, did a great job. Uh, she was paying attention which ciphers have been touched, which one has been uh, decoded. And now we can see Joseph found the Explorer. So Explorer's gonna fight for a bit, putting down pallets, going around. Uh, tight spaces just to just to kite the hunter and that was a beautiful pallet stun as well so here Yuki and I heal up and then Yuki's like Nox we're wasting time uh, we're, we're still a one shot no matter what so we might as well just go away and just when we wanted to go away that's when hunter was there actually looking for the 
explorer but he can use his card trick to look for the explorer anyway so he found explorer and unfortunately for us survivors the basement is there and he's gonna chair the explorer into the basement and both rescuers are injured so I told Yuki like oh man I don't know what to do so and mechanic has wanted order as well so Yuki's like okay it's okay both of us decode looks like mechanic wants to go in for the rescue but she has wanted order so she's still buying time she's still waiting it out she's very very daring at least her robot cypher has been popped so it's a matter of a waiting game it's more about me and and Yuki just cypher rushing we are rescuers but we ended up as decoders can you believe that this is how COA works so here we can see uh, Yuki says she wants to pop her cypher first because she wants to open the gate. So I just leave mine prime. I will be the last one to trigger my cypher. Mechanic goes into base mine, took a hit, took a double hit. Luckily she brought Titan. I don't know how the rescuing will be like if she did not bring Titan. I just waited out a bit, let Explorer get hit. Then only I pop the cypher because I know that if I pop too soon, um, maybe both survivors might go down so at least if someone gets another hit then that would be a good chance to start popping the cypher so there was another good pallet stun by the explorer and he's still kiting the hunter near factory just buying some time but hey, but the hunter found mechanic in the middle and I tried to heal the mechanic but I couldn't so That's where Hunter just took her away and then want to chair her and that's where she saw the dungeon. Now, we could make a save. I mean, Mercenary still has Titana, I still have Titana, although I'm a one-shot. But again, we didn't want to risk it. We just like, okay, you know what, let's just escape. And, you know, we did feel bad because dungeon was there and, you know, Mercenary still has Titana and things like that. So, how was your COA, guys? I know things have been tough lately because there's a lot of competitive teams and players out there enjoy coa as much as you can it just comes once a year so i hope you guys enjoy this video i won't be streaming for quite some time but i'll i'll upload some videos for you guys until next time guys not and pony over and out